Hey there, this is Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and we want to give you a look at Trapster version 4.0. The latest update to Trapster has made some serious improvements in user interface, usability, and information. And that's uh, most apparent in the uh, front-facing maps here, which they've subbed in Nokia's Here Maps, which have uh, added a lot of data and uh, a lot of usefulness to this. You'll see, uh, by default, you have kind of this third-person view of where you're at. And similarly to Google Maps, you can use two fingers to um, get more of a flat view and you'll see when you're nice and zoomed in, you'll get even um, building markers, which is nice when you're in the city, uh, like here in Seattle. And then you can also get uh, a top-down view. And then you can, of course, pan around and you can double tap to zoom in and pinch to zoom and all that good stuff. Uh, and you can also uh, tap on your uh, compass here to get, a, um, get yourself centered back. Um, what you'll see all of these little pins in the map here are um, markers from other Trapster users that have marked that there is something to be aware of when you're out on the road. For example, we have whoops, we have an EV charging station here and when you tap into it, it'll show uh, who has reported that and then if anybody else has confirmed it. So since I'm signed in uh, as a Trapster user, I could always um, agree or disagree that that is there and then I could also share it with the uh, standard Android sharing intents. Uh, the main uh, reason for Trapster, Trapster's existence in the first place were uh, these things right here such as red light cameras and speed traps to try to help people uh, avoid that, avoid the tickets and uh, maybe stay a little safer because they know they're ahead. And uh, But it's since expanded and for example you'll see here that since they've been doing, uh, if you live in Seattle, you know that they've been doing huge amounts of construction on Mercer Street uh, for years and years now. So you'll see there's all of these different construction um, areas. And so if I saw another one farther up here, I could go ahead and hit the uh, button here and I could say, okay, there are children at play there or there's ice on the road or there's a construction zone or there's an EV charging station. There's so many options that you could put in there. And if you're in a big city, uh, it's a lot of uh, really good crowdsourced data. So when you're driving down the road, uh, it will also show if it's known that there's a speed limit on that road and then it'll also show your current speed. Now, of course, we're not going to drive and do the video at the same time, but yeah, it'll show your current speed, and these apps are uh, pretty good at figuring that out now with GPS and accelerometers. And you'll also see on the major highways that you'll get a uh, report of traffic, which is also crowdsourced, and, um, and it just looks so much nicer now that you're on the uh, new Nokia here maps. So into the settings here, you can um, make a lot of changes. You can check your uh, profile, look at just nearby traps, and then you can see some statistics. But just in the settings, you can adjust when um, there can be, <clears throat> excuse me, there would be uh, what language is gonna come through on, which things are gonna be displayed on the map. So you can say, you know, I don't care about traffic because if I really do, I'm gonna go to Google Maps and I'm gonna be navigating. Um, you can also look in and see uh, how you can be alerted, right? So if you want to know uh, over two miles ahead there, that there's going to be a speed trap, then you can um, adjust that slider and you can know ahead. And then you can also have it repeat the audible alerts. So you don't have to be actively looking at it. You can have this, uh, have your phone stuck in the dash and you can know that. So then uh, also through uh, map views, you can select uh, how you want your map to look, whether or not you want to be in kilometers, and then uh, also screen orientation, you can lock it. So there is, uh, most people are gonna be using it in this landscape orientation, you get a, a better layout, but it is available in portrait as well. So if you have a car dock that's in portrait, you, you still get the same information in the same view. So overall, Trapster 4.0 has made some serious improvements in uh, usability and um, just the way that it displays data and of course uh, just the maps in the first place offers so, uh, a much better experience. So if you're interested in Trapster, you can find it for free in the Google Play Store. It's going to go live uh, later today 
uh, that, uh, on Thursday. And if you're seeing this later, you can head to our post on Android Central and you can read our full coverage there and then go and grab it out of the Play Store. Thanks for taking a look, guys.